Statistics suggest that this year's UGA freshman class is marginally the smartest yet. With a class median average GPA of 3.9, it begs the question, is grade inflation responsible? It is the growing tendency to witness higher and higher median student grade point averages in our public and private school systems. In the past decade alone, high school GPA has increased so significantly that the overall value of the A has been corroded and college admissions decisions have thus become arbitrary. Freshman Hannah Deaton graduated in the top 5% of her class at West Forsyth High School in Georgia. She too can attest to grade crowding at the top. It was really competitive. Um, I think we had about 500 students in our graduating class. We had three valedictorians and I think they took all AP classes, like maybe like all seven. Grade inflation especially has a tendency to flourish in the state of Georgia after the implementation of the HOPE Scholarship in 1993. Amounts rewarded increased by the millions each consecutive year. But should we examine these reports that say that this year's freshman class is quote unquote the smartest yet? And does high school GPA really predict college preparedness? I mean, there's some people, like even some people from my high school, and they got it, and I'm like, uh, but I think, I think overall everybody's like really smart. Here at the university, admissions counselors are reporting that applicants' grades are skyrocketing with each coming year. But are these grades on paper reflected in university classrooms? So I think like some teachers, they kind of know what to expect from students from the beginning of the year and they kind of stay, maybe stay in like a certain zone, like like essay grading or something like that. They won't like give, they have like a range where they kind of expect the student to stay in and they probably would grade others more harshly. Grade inflation is an ethical concern that creates challenges to students and to our educational system. High schools and universities need to address this problem in conjunction with one another. By shedding light on this unethical practice, students may find themselves properly prepared for college and real-world rigor.